You've been working so hard. Oh, so many things in life you need to learn. Shoe shine boy. What did you discover? You shine, boy. How you do your work so well? You shine, boy. Try to make a living, you go somewhere. You shine, boy. Where you gonna be ten years from now? Shoe shine boy. Y'all know what that y'all know nothing about that. Y'all don't even know nothing about the shoe shine boy, do you? That's how high tech y'all have become. But that's not what this is about. That's neither here nor there. Thank you, Eddie Kendrick. I know you've uh, made your transition, but uh Thank you for that song that honors, um, shoot, some of our struggles, okay, because we done been through it. And I'm not saying that there hasn't been Irish shoeshine boys, and I'm not having, I'm not saying, I'm just saying, all the shoeshine boys should be able to relate, okay? Anyway, this next video, uh... It really concerns me because when I see black people, African American, I you know I don't even say FBA because I know that was a hijack of the word of the Adolfs, but that's Tyrese pimping uh, Tyreek Nasheed, um, and it's amazing to me how he would just lead his people to the slaughter, knowing that's where they're going. I can't tell y'all what to do. All I can tell y'all is none of y'all have ever, ever lived under dictatorship. And no matter how bad Joe Biden is, and I must admit, if you, I I gotta admit that if y'all don't know nothing about civics, then it's gonna be hard for y'all to understand why everything can't get passed. You know, like, why he, you blame everything on Joe Biden. You blame her. And it's so ridiculous because you know Joe Biden is certain things he can't even do unless the Congress allows him, right? That's the way this government is set up. But that's neither here nor there. Y'all talk about Sleepy Joe and all this kind of stuff. However, When you look at the decline of Donald John Trump, the man who pisses and shits on himself, okay? When you look at him, and I don't mean no disparaging to uh, people who do that. I'm talking about Donald Trump. Because most of them that do that, they're not out, out here trying to be judgmental and hate on other people when they know they shit and pisses on themselves. Only a select few have that type of mentality. But I want y'all to hear what Nimrata had to say about him. Um, This is probably one of the very few times that I agree with her. And um, because what she said was dead on the money. And when you see black people trying to get you to vote for Donald Trump, they're very ignorant. And prop, well, you know, and what I mean by the. Our, my, our people are going to perish for their lack of knowledge. And then you got all kinds of pimps that take advantage of their ignorance um, because they might have had civics in school, okay? All I know is when you have people like that are willing to tell you to vote for Donald Trump, when you have this and you, you can see the man is freaking mentally ill, And that don't bother y'all. No, that go to show me our standards are so low. It's a race to the bottom. And the hood is so uninformed. 
You got crazy people talking about Donald Trump gave you a, a stimulus check. That's not why you got a stimulus check. He just signed his name on it. The Congress decided to let uh, uh, they pass. He had, he had no choice. But what he did was smart because Donald Trump is a marketing genius. He signed his name so all y'all Negroes think that he gave y'all $1,500, 2000 whatever it was, and so you're going to vote for him. All I'm saying is I, I, I can't tell you where to go, but I can tell you that doodoo man is not the way. And you vote for him, we lose democracy, whatever that may be. Whatever, I know we fought real hard for it. And if you think <laughs> that this man, because he got a protocol that he's following. He ain't really running nothing. All he's doing is dividing us further and further. The agenda is already set. Well, well let me just be quiet. Listen to Nimrata. Because, uh, she makes an excellent point. And last night, something happened that has happened multiple times. He was on a temper tantrum about me, which is fine. He does that often. But he went on and talked about how I kept the, the police from going into the Capitol on January 6th. <laughs> went on and repeated that I didn't do anything to secure the Capitol. Let's be clear. I wasn't in the Capitol on January 6th. I wasn't in office on January 6th. He mentioned it three times. He got confused. He got confused and said he was running against Obama. He never ran against Obama. Don't put our country at risk like this. This is not personal. I have no personal grievances with Donald Trump. It is personal when it comes to my kids. I don't want them. <laughs> and guess what? I I can't believe. I can't believe that you have Adolf, African Americans, black, colored. I call them coloreds, that would lead a people behind a Donald Trump and his whole program. Knowing that that's MAGA out there. Knowing that what that uh, represents. And you would blindly get in line like sheep to a slaughter and try to get those that are not as bright as uh, you to follow you down a pit of hell. I just want to say for those of y'all who playing black people like that, I, I'm going to say specifically black people because we cut off our nose to spite our face. Willie Lynch said we will be perpetually miserable. Most of us have lost our way and if, well, we never had a way. Okay? And to give them the impression that Donald Trump is who should lead them in 20, this country in 2024. Is really sad. And I think it's really messed up that um, Joe Biden won't have a debate. The, the sad part about it is I, I understand people are so frustrated with the Biden administration. But all I can tell you is another four years of that madman that or sexually assaults people, that steals, that buried his damn ex-wife in the golf course to get a tax break. Y'all have lost y'all way. And it just be fitting that you would follow somebody that is that painful, that's that crazy. And it's only because of the craziness that's inside of you. And I know you don't like that, but I'm just going to have to call it like I see it. All of it is the theater. But look at what you're saying from the executive perspective. I would hope 
that before y'all start blaming Obama or Biden or whoever the hell for the condition that we in, I hope that y'all would think about how stupid we are when we don't vote local, when we don't vote for our judges and our, you know, what we think, oh, that's not important, and we just run the vote for the figurehead. All politics are local. And if you don't see who your judges are and you don't get you don't get behind who your district attorney is and you don't get behind none of that. And you don't understand the importance of that, because that's what drives the country. These states, if you don't understand that. And then you can be led by somebody that's. Just really trying to take advantage of your ignorance. And I hope that doesn't happen. So, I think black people need all hands on deck. And I do believe that the only way we're going to get anything is through the Democratic Party. Or, and it don't have to be Joe Biden. It has to be somebody that represents, you know, health care, all the issues that we need. The Republicans don't care, but don't give a damn about that. And I'm sure a lot of them Southern Democrats don't either. But enough of them do that we have to put the fire under their feet and make them do right, just like every other group. You can't just do civics uh, every four years. We have really brilliant people in our midst. You know, people say what they want to say about Roland Martin. You know, I've even said a few things. But Roland Martin is a, a brilliant mind, politically. Even if you don't agree with everything he says, because I don't. But to move the culture forward, he can break down politics very well, extremely well. Okay. When you have people like Karen Hunter, or when you have people that like uh, Dr. Carr, y'all got to stop listening to these charlatans, these Tyreek Nasheeds, <laughs> these brother Polites. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, he's gone. And we got to wake up, and we got to do better. We got to do better. And we got we to gotta put an end to this madness in our community where we scared to read. Because all you got to do is put, you don't want to read? Y'all such a, a fast service babies that they done took all the will out of you? Well, that's how you get people to go to their slaughter. They don't know nothing. They dumb about everything. And they'll just follow what somebody else tell them to do, no matter what that other person's agenda is. I want better for us. I might I I might not even be here, but I want better for us. And we should be moving towards a more perfect union. Not this bullshit that we dealing with right now. We supposed to be moving towards a more perfect union. And that's not what you're going to get with a bunch of maga damn people. Making immigration the biggest problem. Yeah, that's a problem. But it ain't the biggest goddamn problem. Ooh. Listen. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to swear. But I'm passionate about what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go off right now. And I want y'all to think about Nimrata. And I, I'm saying her name because as an Indian, I want you to know as a woman who's Hindu... She she never experienced no racism yet. She named herself Nikki Haley. But her real name is Nimrata. But she don't want to wear that name, cause she don't want what come with that. Look at all, look at these look at these liars and and bandits. Come on, y'all. I agree with what she said. But that don't mean I agree with what her protocol, her whole campaign is. And that's how y'all should feel. Y'all should be objective. 
I'm going to go. I know I'm going on now. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.